Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, today we will continue our lectures in free medical uh, uh, courses for history taking. Uh, our presentation today is about headache as a history taking. For uh, headache uh, definitions, first headache is pain in any region in the head. It's primary and secondary headache. Primary headache is chronic, uh, benign headache. Uh, recurring without known cause, like cluster headache and uh, or migraine. Secondary headache is headache which is due to underlying medical condition, like brain tumor, meningitis, uh, any uh, subarachnoid or subdural hemorrhage. This is secondary headache. For thunder club headache, this is a headache which suddenly starts suddenly with maximal intensity at its onset. Aura is a complex neurological phenomena that. Uh, precede a headache like uh, uh, scotoma, uh, aphasia, and uh, scotoma, aphasia, and hemiparesis. Causes of headache are many causes, many, many causes for headache. Uh, for primary headache, for example, we'll start with migraine, cluster headache, tension headache, chronic paroxysmal hemicrania, trigeminal neuralgia, occipital neuralgia, post herpetic neuralgia, post traumatic headache post-exertional, post-cuff, post-coital headache, post-lumbar puncture, giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, which is pseudotumor cerebri, subarachnoid hemorrhage, subdural hematoma, meningitis and encephalitis, brain tumors, brain abscess. Also for headache, it could be due to cavernous sinus thrombosis, AV malformation, carotid or vertebral artery dissection, sinusitis, teeth, ear, throat disease, glaucoma, errors of refraction, temporomandibular joint disease, hypertension can cause headache, anemia can cause headache, also uh, CO poisoning and altitude sickness can cause headache. Uh, medication uh, that induce headache like caffeine, alcohol, oral contraceptive pills, phosphodiesterase inhibitors, nitrates, and even analgesic overuse can induce headache like analgesics containing codeine or combination analgesics or ergotamine and tryptans if given in certain times. As a differential diagnosis for some of these causes, we'll talk about migraine headache, which is unilateral, preceded by aura, associated with nausea and vomiting, photophobia and phonophobia, which is sometimes related to menses or uh, drinking red wine or eating blue cheese. And sometimes there is positive family history. For cluster headache, it's uh, usually around the eye associated with watery eye, runny nose or blocked nose. For tension headache, it's band like at the end of the day associated with stressful life. For subarachnoid hemorrhage, it's a severe headache of rapid onset with vomiting and decreased level of consciousness, neck stiffness, and sometimes even associated with seizures. Chronic paroxysmal hemicrania, it's a severe debilitating unilateral headache affecting the area around the eye, and it's multiple severe short headache attacks affecting only one side of the cranium. Other differential diagnosis for meningitis will be associated with fever and neck stiffness, for increased intracranial tension, it will be morning headache associated with nausea and the blurring of vision, and the headache increases with leaning forward, sneezing, or coughing. For primary intracerebral hypertension, usually uh, uh, the risk factor or associated uh, factors will be recent weight gain, pregnancy, oral contraceptive pills, steroids, and acne medication like uh, uh, isotrentinoin, which is acute. It's very uh, common. Giant cell arthritis, uh, uh, jaw and scalp pain, and shoulder stiffness. Uh, it's usually associated with uh, polymyalgia rheumatica and visual problems. Cavernous sinus thrombosis. Risk factor is recent infection or manipulation in the face, sinuses, ears, and dental uh, operation associated with fever and visual disturbances. To start a history taking session, we'll start with the set opening the encounter. As usual, the same uh, 
points which is greeting and introduce yourself and explain rule so hi i am dr hadidi i am dr ahmed i am dr muhammad sho of internal medicine clinic confirm patient details so are you mr muhammad are you 55 years old build good rapport by please have a seat may i sit beside you and explain uh, uh, not taking during the station. If you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. I agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GB stating that you have headache. Is it right? After that, we'll go to dialogue. So start with the present history and the presenting complaint. Can you tell me more about your headache? Do you have headache right now? Can you give me an example of your most recent headache? Tell me what you experienced from beginning to the end, as usually headache is recurrent complaint. And then we'll go for Socrates because this is a pain. We'll start with the site. Where is the maximal site of the headache? Where is the pain located or where is the pain is located in your head? On one side of the head, usually for migraine and trigeminal neuralgia, around the eye could be cluster headache or glaucoma, acute angle closure of glaucoma. On both sides of the head might be tension headache or giant cell arthritis. On the forehead, more maybe sinusitis or tension headache. Back of the eye, mostly uh, back of the head, sorry, mostly occipital neuralgia. This is foresight. For the onset, or oh, onset, when did the headache start? How old were you when start when you started experiencing this headache? If start since adolescent, so usually this is migraine. Was the onset sudden or gradual? For sudden severe headache, usually this is or think in subarachnoid hemorrhage. If it's rapid onset in five to ten minutes, it's cluster headache over one hour migraine or tension head. Uh, then the C, character. You ask about what does the headache look like? Is it throbbing or pulse style? So think in migraine and giant cell arthritis, band-like tightness, uh, think in tension headache, sharp piercing like electric shock, think in cluster headache or trigeminal neuralgia, dull and steady pain think in mass effect is the headache uh, the same as ones you had before or is it different in some way have you noticed any change in the kind of headache you experience very important what is the difference between your usual headaches and your recent headaches and it's a very common scenario in mrcp to uh, uh, you will have a patient with two different types of headache and two different characters for headache in the same scenario. Uh, for radiation, does the headache go anywhere else? For if, if being radiated from eye to ipsilateral face, thinking cluster headache, or pain is around the head like a band, as we mentioned before, tension headache. For A, associations, do you have any warning symptoms that start before your headache if aura uh, as we said before, it uh, comes before migraine. Have you noticed any other uh, symptoms? Do you have any other symptoms that occur at the same time as your headache? For example, red eye, think in acute angle closure glaucoma, tearing, runny nose, and eyelid dropping cluster headache, nausea, fear, light of uh, fear of light and fear of sounds, uh, photophobia and phonophobia migraine, fever, and meningitis, encephalitis, and the brain abscess, visual loss, think in temporal arthritis or acute angle closure glaucoma, weakness or sensory loss, think in stroke and subarachnoid hemorrhage. Have you noticed any shoulder stiffness, uh, which will make you think in polymyalgia rheumatica, which is associated with giant cell arthritis or temporal arthritis? After that, uh, T is time course. Does the pain follow any pattern? Or how long does the headache last? How long does each attack last? 
is it short lasting or long lasting and long lasting is more than four hours uh, from 15 minute to three hours usually this is cluster headache four hours and more than four hours this is migraine 30 minute to one week could be tension headache at what time of the day does your headache usually occur so pain or headache starts at 2 or 3 a.m usually this is cluster headache afternoons or at the end of the week at the end of the day this is tension headache weekends this is a migraine or caffeine withdrawal uh, then we will go for E, which is exacerbating and relieving and precipitating factors. So what does increase, increase your headache? Uh, leaning forward or sneezing or coughing. So think in brain tumor. Turning your head or neck. So think in occipital neuralgia. Touching your scalp. Think in giant cell arthritis. What were you doing when the headache started? Awakening from sleep, so think in brain tumor or increase intracranial tension at work. Think in CO poisoning uh, uh, if close uh, place. Uh, sexual activity, so this is post coital headache. After cough or exertion, could be subarachnoid hemorrhage or exertional post exertion headache. What does relieve your headache? What is the effect of rest and sleep on your headache? For precipitating factor, have you found that anything in particular causes your headache to occur? So chocolate, cheese, alcohol, or menses, this is usually migraine. Shewing or washing face, this is trigeminal neurology. For S, severity, how bad is your headache? And on a scale of zero to 10, how severe is your headache? If zero is no pain and 10 is the worst headache you have ever felt. After present history, we'll go for past history. So important, very important, ask about similar attacks in the past. Have you ever had similar headache attacks before? Did you see a doctor for headache before? What did he tell you? Did you do any scans or blood tests? Do you know what was the result of these scans or blood results? For ask about migraine, have you ever been diagnosed with migraine? Epilepsy, have you ever had fits? And ask about glaucoma, have you ever been diagnosed with high eye pressure? Ask about malignancy history, have you ever been diagnosed with cancer and think in metastasis from any uh, malignant tumor anywhere in the body? For HIV, have you ever been tested for HIV and think about CNS lymphoma or toxoplasma? Ask about bronchial asthma. Do you have asthma? Because having asthma is contraindication for beta blockers, which will be a drug of choice as a prophylaxis for a migraine, if this is a migraine case. Ask about hypertension or heart disease. Do you have high blood pressure? And what medications are you taking for it? If some uh, vasodilators can cause uh, uh, or nitrates can cause headache. Ask about procedures, previous procedures. Have you recently had any lumbar punctures? Because this might be as for diagnosis or resulted in CNS infection. Ask about surgeries. Have you ever needed any surgery in your brain like CNS shunt for hydrocephalus? For medications and allergy, are you currently taking any medications? What medications are you taking? Any over-the-counter, any herbal remedies? Are you currently taking, and ask specifically, it's very important to ask about bills for birth control, analgesics with codeine, which is uh, co like cocodamol, and it's very famous to uh, uh, come as a scenario in uh, MRCP. Bills to help erection like Viagra, nitrates. And I don't forget to ask about allergies. Do you have any sort of allergies? For family history, has anyone in your family had migraine? Is there any sudden death in your family? Like uh, uh, might be due to subarachnoid hemorrhage. Who died and at what age? 
And has anyone in your family diagnosed with cystic kidney disease, adult polycystic kidney disease is associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage. For social history, for diet, so ask about do you frequently consume blue cheese, chocolate or red wine in your food? Do you think it is related to recurrence of your headache, like migraine? Alcohol, do you drink alcohol? Coffee, do you drink coffee? And how frequent and at what time of the day? Very important. Support, what is the impact of this headache on your life? Is it debilitating headache? So frequent sick leaves and uh, such like this. At the end of the history taking, don't forget to ask about ideas, concerns, and expectations. What do you think might be causing this problem? Are you worried about this being anything in particular? What do you think might be the best plan of action? For closure of the station, first to summarize the main points, may I take a moment to summarize what you have told me so I can check that I have understood everything that's important to you? Is there, is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important? Create a list of problems. So I think you have two problems. One of them is called migraine, and the other one is due to painkillers overuse or analgesics overuse headache. Plan the next few steps. I will examine you first. We need to do some tests in the form of blood test and maybe some imaging. This can be done in outpatient phases, then I will decide whether to admit you or not. And don't forget to counsel on any health uh, promotion uh, problem. There is uh, an advice or some advice I need to tell you. Smoking is not good for your health and I am going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Check understanding. Is there anything unclear you need me to clarify? And at the end, thank the patient by name. Thank you, Mr. Mohammed. This is the end of the station. So. Important notes in headache station, common disease association, adult polycystic kidney disease associated with subarachnoid hemorrhage, polymyalgia rheumatica is associated with giant cell arthritis. Never forget to ask about a change in character of the headache, very common. If there is two types of headache, don't forget to ask for where exactly each pain and when was the last attack and how long is the longest pain-free period. Thank you so much. And uh, this is the other presentation from our courses in next days. Thank you.